this current uh, this sustainable living building is fun. It's a, it's a, it's kind of been our little guinea pig building, which I enjoy. It's the building you get to, to maybe make a mistake or two in. They were going to actually demolish the building, and so we said, well, you know, as the new sustainability center is being built, why don't we create this as an opportunity to show retrofit technologies? We can't knock down every building and rebuild it up uh, and make a new building. So how can we create a center out of this old building that more reflects our visions and values? And so we started putting daylighting in. We started using biodiesel processor from waste oil in the community, created a wind generator and had that power the classroom along with some solar panels. And so we used the, the problem, which was this old building that really nobody wanted to be in, and now we have a building that is a living laboratory. We have the new sustainable living building, which is great. It's going to be made out of rammed earth. It's going to be uh, LEED Platinum certified. And that's going to be a great example of, of real clean cut, real professional, new age sustainability. So the building is constructed to meet the living building challenge, which is the highest standards of sustainable building in the world and it will be LEED Platinum. It will be certified under Bio Biology's Living Healthy Building Spec, and it's also, according to Marshi, Vedic Architecture. It's designed to be totally off the grid, and in this case that means it produces all its own energy from wind and, and solar power. Uh, it heats itself through uh, solar heating, and it's cooled naturally using the thermal mass of the building in, in a passive ventilation system. And it treats its own waste, so it's totally off the grid, a building that's self-sufficient. It's taken sustainability for college or, or school buildings to a new threshold. The difference between this building and a conventional building energy-wise is that the building actually produces more energy than it uses. One of the exciting sustainable systems above this building is it catches all the rain from the roof. So the rain would come up here, hit this, and follow the slope, and then these slopes and go down drains. There's three of them along here and on the other side. And all that water goes into a 6,500 gallon cistern. And then that water is filtered and purified ultravioletly, and we can actually drink it. We can actually use it throughout the building. These tubes heat up, and then they heat the water, which runs through here, and it goes down and that'll actually heat the building. This idea of this building is to be a building that teaches. So it's a facility for the sustainable living department so that there will be a connection between what they're learning and what they're learning in. And they can see how much wind is coming from the wind turbine, how much energy is coming from the photovoltaic panels, that kind of thing.